The next view in the FAST evaluation is a view of the heart uh, to assess for pericardial fluid, which in the setting of penetrating trauma can be indicative of impending tamponade. The probe is held uh, below the sternum, aiming upwards and slightly to the left, uh, which gives this image on the, on the screen. This is the left lobe of the liver as it comes across. Right ventricle, which is the most commonly injured. Left ventricle here, and the corresponding atria. Attention needs to be made to getting a full view of the heart, with both the anterior and the posterior pericardium, as small effusions will accumulate posteriorly first. In order to improve the visualization of the posterior wall of the heart, you can ask the patient to take a breath in, which moves things anteriorly. Some patients are impossible to get a good view of the heart by using the subcostal view. This can be secondary to either patient habitus or pain over the abdomen uh, and inability to tolerate the pressure of the probe. In those patients, another window needs to be evaluated, and the most commonly used is the parasternal long axis view, which is essentially looking through the chest wall to take a look at the heart. In order to do this, using the same presets that we've used for the rest of the FAST evaluation, the dot that we showed you before has to be oriented towards the patient's left hip. When that's done, it follows standard cardiology uh, protocols of having the heart rotated on the screen so that the right ventricle uh, is anterior uh, and the apex is to the left of the screen. Looking at the screen now, what we see um, is this is chest wall, this is the right ventricle, this is the left ventricle, here is the aortic valve, here is the mitral valve. And a quick assessment can be made to see if there is any evidence of pericardial fluid here posterior to the heart. Other structures that are commonly seen in this view include the descending aorta here, which in this orientation is a circular structure.